So, you're considering studying abroad. You want to expand your horizons, encounter new cultures, and explore new territory while earning an internationally acclaimed bachelor's or master's degree. You've got your mindset on an inspiring city, Sydney, Beijing, New York maybe. But then why wouldn't you go straight to the source, the Netherlands. What? The Netherlands, inhabited with, on average, the tallest people in the world. If you haven't heard much about them, it's probably because their motto seems to be, let's not pretend to be bigger than we are. The first thing you need to know is that the Netherlands is also known as Holland and is inhabited by Dutch-speaking people who also speak English. Confused yet? Well, the reason they speak English so well can be partly explained by the fact that they've been wandering all over the globe since the 16th century. Holland was the economic and cultural center of the world. They established a vast trading network, opened their first university in 1575, and even laid the foundations for contemporary New York City, which was called New Amsterdam back in those days. Curious? Let's take a closer look, shall we? Just who are these tall, internationally-minded entrepreneurs living at the heart of Europe? At first sight, the Dutch are uncomplicated, but in a rather complicated way. Johan Cruyff, their most famous soccer player, once said, every disadvantage has its advantage. He managed to bring soccer to a whole new philosophical level. This remarkable, say, out-of-the-box approach to analyzing and solving problems is something they put to good use in the 14 research universities and 40 universities of applied sciences around the country. The Dutch democracy is home to over 190 different nationalities, living in its many cities and villages. One has to admit that the Dutch are generally open-minded, freedom-loving and tolerant towards foreigners. All told, the Dutch take a very broad view of life, at least in their mind, because their tiny homeland measures only 300 kilometers from north to south and 170 kilometers from east to west. Still, even though the country only covers a 0.008% of the Earth's surface, they have the 16th largest economy in the world. That must be the reason why they drink 136 liters of coffee a year, making you wonder if they ever sleep. Because two-thirds of their country lies precariously below sea level, the Dutch long ago developed a survival through consensus concept that is now commonly known as the Polder model. Within this concept, people from all walks of life are encouraged to contribute their opinion when it comes to national problem solving. This philosophy has served them well in holding back the sea. They turned into supreme masters of just about anything connected with water. Their 17,000 kilometers of dikes have approximately the same length as the Great Wall of China. But far beyond water management, the Polder model has also created a fertile environment for developing innovative technological solutions to many of the problems facing the modern world. Over the centuries, the Dutch have produced many progressive artists, writers, philosophers and scientists. Today, architects and designers in the Netherlands have come together under the collective name of Dutch Design and their influence is felt all over the globe. You can also find evidence of the Dutch love for sharing opinions in their approach to teaching. In the 1400 different English study programs around the country, they create an open, informal environment in which students and teachers share and debate new insights. For the Dutch, it's much better to debate a question without settling it than to settle a question without debating it. Dutch academics have established a reputation in a range of scientific disciplines, such as nanotechnology, renewable energy, medicine, water management and architecture. The country's higher education programs offer great diversity, high quality education and excellent research opportunities in an international environment. Dutch researchers are among the most productive in the world, which helps make Holland one of the best performing countries worldwide. So, on the downside, you'll be spending this next period of your life on a bike in a flat country below sea level. But on the upside, you'll be inspired by great culture and intellectual challenges. 
and you'll return home with a high quality international bachelor's, master's or PhD degree in your pocket. So I would almost say, if it ain't Dutch, it ain't much.